you know, like any good chef worth the salt, I started out washing pots and pans at Claridge's Hotel, which is a really grimy, grotty job. Hot and sweaty, bleachy, acid, screamy chefs, burnt pans, you know, pretty gross. I don't think my kitchen porters have a life like that, but without doubt, they are one of the most important parts of all of the nuts and bolts that go to make up the day-to-day -day of a restaurant. For me, one of the greatest stories is the guy called Alan, who came to me in my first restaurant, young, time, I was 27, guy walks through the door, wants to be a KP, just came out of Caprice as a KP, we're talking 18 years ago. To this day, he still works for me. So since then, he's gone on to successfully be the KP, successfully run the bar, successfully run the pastry, successfully run other departments in the kitchen, work on the floor in the other restaurants. What he does now, I have absolutely no idea, but he's on the payroll significantly, and he's a huge part of this operation. To be honest, he kind of just makes this whole thing happen. He's like the sort of godfather for everybody, the caretaker of the business. He looks after all the KPs, he picks my children up from school, even picks me up if I've had too many glasses of vino. So this guy has now sort of managed to progress to become an incredibly integral part of our business. And if you've owned your own restaurant, you've started out probably with one or two chefs in the kitchen, maybe a KP sometimes, but often you're washing up while the chef is washing up, your sister comes and helps for two hours, that's just kind of how it rolls. Now the restaurant is at a stage where there's 20 chefs and the thing is like a machine that goes on and on and on. They don't realise, I think, that there isn't an unlimited stock of nine pans and delis and there's not a thousand of them, they just keep getting recycled by some guy around the back there. And I don't think people often realise that. Taking the KP out, it would be like putting a, a stick in the spokes of the wheel. Dead. Not enough is done to celebrate front of house, too much is done to celebrate chefs, and certainly not enough is done to celebrate the task that is being a KP. And there are KPs out there that take it incredibly seriously. When I worked at the square, Phil had an amazing knack of getting these guys so up to speed. You know, they were doing langoustines and scallops and tomato con gas and all this kind of stuff. An absolute force to be reckoned with. Three of the chefs that work in the business now came from the pot wash and then there's Alan who basically runs the whole company, I think. <laughs>